black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today I've been commissioned by my guy Zach to get a five fast food fry showdown to see who has the best fries in the land with a wild card being a freezer fry, a fry that you could just pick up in the freezer and see how they stack up. Now, we all know these are pretty incredible. So I'm gonna cook, oh, we got a, yep, ghost. I'm gonna crisp these up flavor-wise and then get these on a pan and do a reheat because we've been driving around collecting and you know, who needs a, a cold fry? Absolutely nobody. All right, so as we tray up here to warm up, let's see who's got plentifulness. Now this is a small fryer from KFC because they only had small and large. They don't have a medium apparently. And I definitely didn't need a large with all the fries that we're eating. So that's a small from KFC. We've got a Wendy's medium here. Trying to make room for all these. Next, we got the Burger King medium right here. Okay. And of course, it's direct nemesis, the McRicks, the McDicks, the McDonski, whatever you want to call it. And then if we just shove off here for a sec, we'll come in with a category of its own, but this is a medium fry from Popeyes. Definitely a fry in a league of its own in terms of like seasoning and stuff, but very substantial for a medium fry, what I'm seeing out of everything. But I don't know if I dump these in a box, it might be similar, but I don't think so. This looks like the most substantial, also the most expensive, but we'll talk about that in the video. All right, let's heat these up and then get these cabin dishes rolling. <laughs> it's a five fry shootout. Actually, it's a six shooter, right? Because Western guns are six shooters, right? <laughs> then you got to reload. But really, we got the six of the Popeyes here. I would say the sixth is is the wild card because we're dealing with the chains here and then we're dealing with the local, which is, a, I believe, Canadian local. They're made in PEI. I don't know if they ship to the States, but uh, it's probably the best freezer fry in Canada. But anyways, we got all these fries to try, and it's, uh, it's solely because I was commissioned, challenged, and um, patiently waited upon by Zach, who funded this video and said apparently he has an uh, affinity for fries, um, him and his girlfriend perhaps, so shout out to you and your girlfriend, hope you guys are enjoying this video. And uh, I have these kind of propped up on something back here, so I'm basically going to be <laughs> the Wilson of fries, I'm behind a fry fence here, so Heidi ho neighborino. And uh, I was also told by Zach that I have to eat these um, unmodified, unsaucified, no condiments. I have to try the fries and shoot them out as fried potatoes as they are, a naked fry. Now, in my world, as, as a sauce monger, that's cardinal sin, right? But your wish is my command. So he must try the fries naked. So let's get into it. Let's start out. Uh, where is my little paw going to go first? I'm going to work down the line this way to the Popeyes on the side here. So we're going to have to inspect every one of these for their own nature, right? And I did reheat these all in the air fryer. I put them all in very riskily in their packages as they currently are. And uh, they didn't burn too much except for the Popeyes one did burn and release some of the chemicals. So don't put cardboard in your air fryer. Just a heads up. All right, so the Wendy's fry off bat is more of a, it's a hybrid between a fast food fry and a home fry because they keep some of that skin, right? They keep, keep some of that russet potato skin. Traditionally speaking, in all my my uh, endeavors out eating fast food, I've always thought of Wendy's as a, a lower tier fry. I don't love it. I've never loved it. I don't love a Wendy's fry. I've never really loved a Wendy's fry. But here's the thing. Something about them is rather, rather dry. Perhaps extra cardboardy, if you will, you know? All right, now, a BK fry, which I know people have qualms with. So we'll go with one sturdy and one sturdy with a half sog. Now, that's a whole other thing to consider about fries is do you like 
a bit of a slog bite. Or do you like full sturdy? Here's the thing about BK's fries. They have this square boxy cut. And when they are crisp, I like how they have a fluffy, potatoey, squeezable inside. A fresh, hot BK fry. In my opinion, is better than better than it gets credit for. I feel like BK fries get hated on quite a bit. And then we have what I think most would deem as the go-to king of the hot fries. And that's the McDonald fry. McDonald's always tends to have a longer fry too that you can find, right? They seem to have evidently bigger potatoes that they cut from. I'm very much a fan of McDonald's fries and I do kind of like both. I like when they have a half sog. And then when they have that structural integrity too. So, I mean, flavor wise right now, it's real hard to distinguish. What's up? Okay. KFC fry, kind of more like a Wendy's, but I think it has a different, like a better crisp. It does. KFC has that. Mmm. Crispy, boxy, starchy, soft inside. Like a BK, but still remains a little, a little homegrown. And I gotta tell you right now, these have the most like pronounced delicious fr fry flavor so far mm -hmm. all right now we come to the cavendish the homegrown these to me are known to have the nice bubbliest crispiest crust and they have the nice puffy little insides but they have this different bubble on them Very hard. Oh wow, very hard to beat a Cavendish. I, the exterior is so crisp, but then the interior has this. Look at that. You know those fries, um, Smiley's? And they have that really fluffy, almost mashed potato little interior, but then you get this outside crisp. And that little crispy bit, like, I love those little, the odds and ends. Super good. All right. In a league of their own, <laughs> with a mildly burnt box, we got the Popeye's fries, which are, which are, like I say about these, these Cavendish, they have a similar thing on these. They have that crispy, bubbly, exterior texture. Wow. 
but these have an unfair advantage because they're seasoned with that Cajun crack. And it's like, how can you even put them in a similar league? You can't because they just got that seasoning. But they do keep a little russet edge like the others, so a little more homegrown. But they're much more like a Cavendish with a more shoestring cut, thinner cut. But wow, Popeyes is different. I'd say texturally speaking, and in terms of like the gauge, meaning like that cut thickness, like when people wear gauges in their ears, like how many, what size of fry could you fit through it? I like this gauge. It's like a perfect, like these might be a tad thick. Though similar and deliciously crispy, it may be a tad thick. So I like the gauge on a uh, Popeyes. Now, I know it was said that I need to keep it to just fries with no dip, but I'm sorry, my dude, I can't do it. I'm a rebel with that cause. <laughs> I brought ketchup, the main staple. There's absolutely zero way that I'm not going to pull in a variable, though, albeit a constant variable in the science experiment, a variable nonetheless, that makes it uh, possible that my rating of the best fries naked could change with my rating of the best fries with a dip. So let's rate them as naked. I would say the best fry naked is a toss up between the home, the Cavendish, or the Popeyes. It's an unfair advantage, but I'm gonna pick the Popeyes because it has that seasoning, but it is the best texture fry. After that, I would say this, the Cavendish, for sure, as a naked fry, home fry, amazing. If they made these and served these at fast food restaurants, it'd be a game changer. Out of these four, oddly enough, KFC, is going to be my next pick so this would be number three but out of these four definitely this is number one because i don't know it just served me or provided me a better crisp i like the flavor for some reason kfc next will be mcdonald's then bk then wendy's and that's interesting how that worked out that it just worked out like that so one two three four five six would be my uh my, my choosing here, my ranking, my order, but let's introduce ketchup into the equation and see what's crap in it. <laughs> because I promise you, A, I can't eat fries without ketchup or some dip forever. And then B, it could change. All right, so. Nice, nice. I don't know that this will do anything. I will say that the hardest part about making this video is that the whole time driving, I couldn't, I should say, I had to control myself and refrain from doing the fry pick and pinch you know the fried pick and pinch when you get them hot and they're right beside you in the car and you can't you smelling them you smell the oils can't stop thinking about them <laughs> i didn't do that and that was the hardest part about this video <laughs> i also got incredibly lucky with all the drive throughs i went like at the perfect time of day apparently I barely
barely had to wait in line, which was such a nice surprise. I thought I'd definitely be getting stuck behind some vehicles at some point for a while, but it didn't happen that way. Uh, notably, just right there, the McDonald's with the ketchup. Sparked maybe an old familiar feeling in my my my, my neural pathways and uh, that was like oh shit I remember how good that is okay but yeah I lucked right out with that I suppose I should go over prices too, actually. Mm. These with ketchup are next level too. So Cavendish for a bag, $4.99, but you get lots, like much more fries than you get here, right? So you're getting a, it's freezer fries. You're going to get way more, obviously, right? Grocery store. So a top tier fry, bang for buck. Might as well get fries from the grocery store, and they only take 10 to 12 minutes to make in the air fryer, so really perfect. Small from KFC was $3.23, and they packed it in good, and I mean, it, it almost seems almost comparable to these other ones, maybe slightly less. Um, so KFC was 323, McDonald's medium 419, Burger King medium 343, and then Wendy's medium 319, and then the Popeyes were 564. So substantially higher, maybe two bucks more, but I would say you get way more in the box, right? So. All right, these guys with ketchup is the last one I need to try. Mmm. It is interesting. The ketchup does change it a bit. I will say, when you introduce the ketchup in the whole game, and then you introduce that with the Popeyes, I'd say the Popeyes is a better standalone fry as a number one standalone fry. When you introduce the ketchup, my order changes. It goes Cavendish, McDonald's, KFC, Popeyes, Burger King, Wendy's. Wendy's always is coming in last. It's just I have always not liked their fries, basically. So I should have known. Well, I knew that, but I have a bias, I guess. But these... Then the McDonald's. Mm. Once you put the ketchup on McDonald's, something different, childhood, just activates. You know what I mean? So that's a whole thing. Yeah, then the KFC. Then I would say Popeyes. Then BK. And then that. So anyways. All right. I am definitely not going to sit here and eat all these fries because... I'm the type of person, to be honest, honest with you, when I go to uh, get fast food, a lot of times I'm just like just burgers, just sandwiches. Like you guys see me get two Whoppers instead of a Whopper meal. Or lots of times at McDonald's, I'll just get a couple like McDoubles and a junior chicken or something like that. Fries to me are a very specific crave of the day. If I really, really feel like I need them or want them, I'll get them. But for the most part, fries to me are kind of take it or leave it a lot of the time. It's interesting, though, because there are fry aficionados, people with fry affinities who are like, that's what they go for to, to, to go to their fast food restaurant. Like, like, I need fries. Like, I need a large fries. Um, more stereotypically speaking, wi women, you know, a lot of women are like, you know, give me that large fry and six nuggets or a large pipe and hot fry and a junior chicken or whatever, mainly McDonald's. Something with women and a large hot fry from McDonald's with a little chicken on the side is basically how a lot of, from what I've observed. No, that's a stereotype, but it seems to be true. 
anyhow, um, I like I said, I'm definitely not gonna sit here and smash all of these fries because honestly, it's just too much potato, you know? Too much potato for one pallet for one day. All right, Zach, thank you so much. Shout out to you and your girl. I hope you enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. It was a fun video for sure to see who reigns supreme in each and every variation of the experiment. So, till the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well, stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.